this is part eight of the Minish Cap, and in this part we're going to continue working our way up to the top of Mount Cornell. Well, actually, did we just get here? I think we actually just got here in the last video. To the base, I think. Okay, yeah. to the base. As our viewers can tell, we haven't done these back yeah. to back, probably. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a couple weeks. But, uh, but yeah, like you get you get the base, then you get Mount Cornell proper. So I, I uh -huh. it all kind of. I think we got like that first seed. We did that first seed. Yeah, yeah, we got to like the first level, and this is where this part's at right here. Just, I actually didn't hit the button. Like my buttons were sticking while I was playing right there. Us and the controllers. Man. Yeah, it just like so. I didn't mean to do that right there. <laughs> and then what happens later on? I really don't have an excuse for that yeah. one. Yeah. Well, it's kind of depressing when we only have one kinstone this early on. Yeah. Uh, so you just haven't had a chance to get very many, really. Yeah. Although we will fix that a little bit in this part. We're uh -huh. actually gonna get. Uh, at least four that I can think nice, of off the nice. top of my head. So we just starts a tedious task throughout the entire game. It does. I mean, <laughs> we've got hit on this before that it's mm -hmm. like there's so the idea is not bad, but there's so many. Yeah, all throughout. It's it. a one video like we said, like some like thirty, like some like oh, thirty or forty would be nice. But yeah, seventy five. But I mean, you get a lot of cool stuff. And you do from a lot. Of them, you so. get the piece of heart, which yeah. is always nice. Uh -huh. Speaking of pieces of heart, we're actually going to get two pieces two, yeah, of heart uh, in this video as well. So we have and, that to look forward to. And it's very tough task to those pieces of heart. I think you basically just got to put a bomb down. Yeah. And you had a piece of heart. <laughs> you have to know where to put the bomb down, and that's what we're here for. Yes. <laughs> now, man, these helmet swords right here, these things are just a pain, man. Like, in this game, they, they keep are. on hit. Like, I would turn around, and they just would... I'm trying not to make it sound bad here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just like come up and, uh, and, and, and hit, hit me from behind. Yeah, or whatever, you know, and, all that are pain. I, I think one of the parts. It might be the very next part, man. One gets one gets you right off the bat. As yeah, as you start the video. <laughs> it's, kind, it's kind of funny. And then, like a lot of times you'll see them coming, and then they just like wham, run, they just rush they, right up behind. They charge you. like from off screen, yeah. uh -huh. and you can't do much about it. You just get nailed. And you're like, no enemy should ever hit me that are off screen I when I get into that room. <laughs> if he's on screen for less than a second, it's not fair. Yeah. We already have a hard enough time dodging <laughs> enemies. We need them to be on the screen and nothing else. Definitely. Now, I kind of like uh, the little uh, parachute act there. That uh -huh, that does look cool. Or uh -huh. hang glider, whatever you want to uh -huh. call that. He's a lot more help than Navi and Fee. Yeah. And, and, well, I guess Min that kind of... Min has got her teleport. Things yeah, like her that, teleport, yeah, I guess. Which is pretty nice. But yeah, just uh, little things like that that kind of add to... Uh-huh. It makes you enjoy your uh, companion yeah. a so little bit more. There's like, for a handheld, we also discussed this, there's a lot of little details in this game, like just like making your hand right there look like a parachute that... Just a little detail like that. I'm yeah. kind of surprised they were able to do with that handheld game, even though the Game Boy Advance was a little more powerful. But it, it, you're exactly right, though. It's just like as low. Well, almost exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> like, just like, you're saying it's like, like a shock or something. I, I, I was a little surprised. Yeah. And, like, speaking of little t details, this is a hair off topic. But like, we just fell in the water right there, and like Link flails his arms. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah exactly, under. exactly. I mean, not to point out you falling in the water. But oh <laughs> no, no, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> but like, like you said, it's little details that add to it that weren't possible before. Uh huh. I agree with you. Now, back on topic a little bit, though. This room is actually pretty loaded. I mean, we got the rupees from one chest. Yeah, yeah. We got the piece of heart. We got the blue kinstone piece. And that might be, I don't know, is that our first blue kinstone or not? I think it is. I think it is. And, of course, like, the green are the most common. Uh -huh. And we'll get a ton of those. Yeah, out. yeah. You really don't get, obviously, they're the most common. You're yeah. not going to get a lot from them. Yeah, you, I think you get rupees or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Not a whole lot. Hey, I'll take rupees any day, man. Especially in this game, you actually do use them to an extent. You know, uh, there's, like, a lot of upgrades that we'll get later on where you have to buy, like, I think it's, like, might be 300 rupees or something to buy some of the upgrades. Yeah. So they're, very, they're actually valuable in this game, but... It's a nice change of pace. It's just one <laughs> of those games where you can only go 999. It just always makes me mad. Every <laughs> Zelda game should be unlimited rupees. Now, that would be awesome, because you got to think, uh, was it uh, Wind Waker that let you... Or Skyward Sword that let you get... Over um, a thousand. No, 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 not unless you have the wall upgrades. If you have the yeah. wall upgrades, it would. Now, see, I like uh, Link Between Worlds because you can oh, just collect, yeah. and collect and collect that's, and Link Between Worlds. I think that's what I was trying to think yeah. of. Yeah. Now, Skyward Sword, you can go over a thousand. I think there's a wall that's like 1100. Oh. But you gotta get like a bunch of upgrades to get it. So. Eh, not worth it. That's <laughs> our first red kinstone piece we got right there, too. Yep, so now we finally actually have one of each color. So. Uh huh. The red kinstone pieces, I oh, think. Oh, they're awesome. Yeah, they normally tend to lead to things yeah, like Yeah, they're the rarest. Yeah, they're awesome. Ouch. Yeah, what, what are those things called again? Oh, oh I, yeah, I don't remember They're not guys. pea hats. They're, um, nah, I can't remember either. But it is funny, like, uh, when you were outside and you were uh, full sized, uh -huh. like, they showed a couple of them flying around and they look so tiny. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now you come in here and they're like, they're massive. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know if they're massive, but yeah. Well, 
They hit me, so they're massive. Anyway. Yeah, that's why I got hit because they're so massive. Yeah, they're the size of you, at least. I mean, well, that's you were you, you lying, though. I mean, we're getting Kinstones like like crazy right now. The thing is, because like you said, there are so many people uh-huh. you confuse them with. It's just ridiculous. I, mean, I kind of was things like in the early part of the game, like when you're walking around, like you see all these people you confuse Kinstones with. Yeah, you can't do it because you don't have the right ones. It's not a problem, obviously. Later, now, now, right here. Now, I was, I was, I just want to say, I was actually looking down my notes right there. I do remember that part. I was looking down my notes because there's not a lot of break time. No, so Mitch cabin. So I was looking down my notes, and I literally just walked right off the ledge right there. In your defense, normally you think that the, the walkway would just be up uh-huh. against the wall, uh-huh. and you could go straight through. And That's what I was thinking. But, but every time we think something <laughs> in Zelda, it ends up being like the other thing. That's pretty much the way these games work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just love these like walkways right here because like you know we're obviously minish and like they yeah. have very very tiny or regular size but then it just makes you realize how small it is being minish in this game. It really is when just these twigs and, and these yeah. rocks are so uh-huh. huge. Speaking of so huge by the yeah, way, how in the sense. world can you carry this gigantic seed? Like, like if we had like we'll get the uh, we'll get the grip ring later on not in this part I think it might be yeah, the next part but next like, part, like yeah. we like don't have a bracelet or anything. No. We really get like a bracelet to like allow you to carry large items like that. We don't have anything. It's just. That makes no sense to me. That's whatsoever. that's like me trying to carry a truck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you can't carry a truck, can't you? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> if it's I, full of beer, yeah. <laughs> I, I will find a way. If it's full of beer. And then just to top it all off, it's kind of funny. Like when you put the seed in the spot, you make the sound like you fell in. Uh huh. Would the seed just crush you when you fall in? Yeah. I mean, well, somehow you pop out of the hole. God. So yeah, the logistics of that. That's the first time logistics or logic, I guess. <laughs> actually, I had the wrong word there. Yeah. That's the first time logic actually not made sense in Zelda. First Ever. time. Definitely. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> the rules of physics. Physics, that's fly. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, I just saw that boulder come crashing. Yeah, down. boulders. And there's our tech tights. Both yes. those are items or items slash enemies that we've had since the very original Zelda game. Yep, death, it's it's been Death Mountain. And they've been a pain jump around ever since. Then. I hate those boulders. You're exactly right. Every single uh-huh. daggone game. Well, they're just. I mean, they don't do a lot of harm to you. But like as you can see, they're so unpredictable. Yeah, they're not as unpredictable in this game as they were in Link to the Past. But still, oh, that was awful. <laughs> Dude, they bounce everywhere in that game. Man, speaking of loaded rooms, we had one earlier. How about coming into a fairy fountain yeah. like this and the piece of heart? It's, still, like, it's too easy of a heart piece, though, because they got, like, the two, like... You see there's, like, an area right there yeah. with the two bombs, so... I mean, I thought I like getting heart pieces. Of course. They're that easy, obviously, but, like... <laughs> We're not one, really complaining. That one was a little too easy. Yeah, and it, it's like, once you get a little bit used to this game, and just Zelda games in general, you kind of learn when there's a gap like that, even if there's not a crack in the wall, even if there's yeah, not... Yeah, yeah. You know, th- they give you indicators that, sh- that something's there. Yeah, like. now this one, I mean, I guess you can kind of see this one a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's like the really the most hidden one, I guess you could say. Yeah, and even then, like you said, it's uh, yeah, like I said, like either crack in the wall or they have like spikes, boulders, whatever. Just something. Yeah. What do you want it to be more like the original Zelda? Remember how hard that was finding the, all the walls to bomb, and you had limited bombs. Say, so how about finding the uh, the bomb, one, the one bush you had to burn to get into the dungeon? Yeah, yep, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly, man. We don't want to talk about the original Zelda. I want to just get all the pots but three. I'm just like, eh, forget the rest of them. I think you got bored. Oh, I hate this room. I hate these enemies, dude. I bet you want to go back and get those last three pots right oh, now. Oh <laughs> man, I, I, I hate these things. Well, these spike guys, and we you you'll see a little later on. You can hit them when they're in the air. Uh-huh, yeah, you can. And you do a great job but when there's in a room of like 10 of them later yeah, on. Yeah, just because I just got in the corner and went nuts. But this one, yeah. it, was just, it was just in my way, man. Oh, I tried man. to do that, as you can see. It just shut his power It was not working. <laughs> That's why I usually try to use the power through, but I don't know how this one didn't get him right here. I thought I, I had him either. right there, but just a little bit off. The bomb range isn't very big. Oh, no, that's like, actually a good point. The bomb range stinks, actually, in this game. Yeah, it, it is barely there at all, but... Man, these guys did kind of have their way with you here for a <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. Sean Wayne finished off this part, though, I guess. Yeah, you finally get him out of your way, and uh, this will wrap up part eight of the Minish Cap.